Do you ever remember, as a child, having intercourse with Frank Goodman? Yes, I do. Do you have any proof? Yes. Warren, don't do that. I have medical records. When I was 11 years old, I was taken to emergency, bleeding badly. The police listed it as rape, but I couldn't tell them that it was Frank. Why not? Because Frank was the police officer that brought me in. What up? Why did you continue to uh, keep this secret? Surely once you left the hospital with proof of your abuse, couldn't you at the very least have gone to a school counselor? No. Frank said that he would kill my parents if I ever told the truth. And he said being a police officer would be easy for him. He'd just say that he caught them in the act of a crime. And with his record, he'd never be questioned. I believed him. So what's Arnold going to do? I'm sure he'll let every DA know that I can't be trusted and that I'm not a team player. Is he going to bring you up on legal charges? No. It's my moral obligation to find evidence for either side. If it goes for the defense, then it's my constitutional duty to turn it over. It's just that the DA considers this kind of double cross tantamount to being a double agent. So do you think he might go public with it and hurt you that way? Well, let him. He'll uh, end up being the one looking bad. I just think that he can quietly make it very difficult for me to work anywhere again. I just hope that I didn't disappoint you. What do you mean? Did I, um, did I ever tell you about my father? And why I got into law enforcement? No. Well, my father came from a very poor family. Projects of Chicago. That's where I was raised. But he owned a hardware store on the south side. Before that, time was a really rough for him. I mean, can you imagine a World War II Congressional Medal of Honor winner? I never got to see it. Because he had to hock it at some pawn shop in order to feed his family. That's very sad. But he had a lot of strength and integrity to do something like that. So is your daddy still alive? No. When I was six, he was closing the hardware store late one night and some whacked out drug addict came in and shot him to death. All for $54. Oh, my God. But he was buried with full military honors at Arlington National Cemetery. I remember standing on the runway and uh, watching his flag draped coffin being put on the plane. And when Cruz left me, and you took me home and you told me that you understood what it was like to be left on a runway, I yelled at you because I didn't believe you could understand the pain I felt. You understand it more than I could possibly imagine. Can you forgive me? Please. Anyway, from that time, I vowed justice. And I wanted to be an agent, and I wanted to be the best. And you are. Uh, I don't see it that way. Oh, come on. Don't give me that, McCabe. You came to this town, and everybody was against you. But you've proven yourself to be the best kind of cop there is. Because the truth was more important to you than which side you were on. Oh, I told you I had integrity. But you were too busy blaming me for Cruz to see it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll say it again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What you're doing for BJ, 
You're, you're, you're probably helping this innocent young girl from going to prison? Hey, I admire you more than I could possibly say. Oh, well, I gotta be going. Where are you going? McCabe! years old is that correct yes did you ever make a complaint against Frank Goodman to the local police or even to your parents no like I said I was too afraid to why did you decide to come forward now well I've been following this case in the papers mainly because of Frank's involvement as horrible as this sounds when I found out that Frank was dead I felt relief and then when Agent McCabe found me, I realized that coming forward, I might not only help BJ, but help myself, too, to free me from my past. No further questions, Your Honor. Does the defense rest? Yes, Your Honor. The witness may step down. Thank you. Closing arguments. Is the prosecution ready? Yes, I am, Your Honor. 